Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing tips for the removal and replacement of the camshaft position sensors on this 2024 Kia Sorento with the 2.5 liter non-turbo engine. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. There are two camshaft position sensors. The intake camshaft position sensor is mounted to the engine block and located right here. Okay? And you know that this is the intake sensor because it's located closest to the intake manifold. The exhaust camshaft position sensor is located right here, just on the opposite side of the engine block, the opposite side of the valve cover. And you know that it's the exhaust sensor because it's located closest to the exhaust manifold. For purposes of this demonstration, we'll be removing the intake sensor, but I'll let you know that both sensors can be removed in the same manner and both sensors have the same part number. So you might ask, what are some of the symptoms associated with a faulty sensor? Well, you could have no start, poor engine performance, a misfire, the car may go into kind of a limp mode where it will only excel to a certain level, like it would only reach a certain speed. Um, if you have very high fuel consumption, obviously you're gonna have a check engine light with trouble codes P0340, P0342, and P0343. And so you might ask, what does this part do? Well, it works with the crankshaft sensor to define the exact position of top dead center of the crankshaft cycle. Our supply list includes two sensors, and I recommend that if one of the sensors goes out, you go ahead and replace both sensors. You can easily find them in pairs online, and or you can find them at the dealership, and I just recommend that you replace both sensors at the same time, because if one is worn out, chances are it's just gonna be a, a short period of time before the other sensor goes out, okay? You need a 10 millimeter socket, a small flat tip screwdriver, and it's possible that you may need to change the engine oil and filter, and we'll discuss that in a minute. Please see other items in the description below. So let's go ahead and move forward with the removal and replacement of the intake camshaft position sensor. So I've got my small ratchet with the, about a four inch extension and I've got my 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna come in underneath these, this wire bundle and these hoses here to get to that bolt. Okay, I've got it loose. It's about ready to fall off, okay? Do not drop this bolt. There's a large engine cover underneath the engine. If you drop this bolt, you may have to remove that engine cover, okay? So I want you to go in, I'm applying a little pressure to the bolt, and I'm going in, and I'm going up underneath the socket, and I'm grabbing onto that bolt like that, and I'm gonna pull it with the socket away from the engine, okay? Just like that. Okay, that's your pro tip. Now, this is a locking electrical connector. And I'll show you a little more detail later, but you come in here with this small flat tip screwdriver. You're gonna lift up on the gray, kind of a horseshoe lock. All right. Once you have the lock, so you're gonna get right in here and push up, pull up on that lock. And be careful, okay? Once you have it up in the up position, just squeeze it and pull it away. And let me show you what I just did. And so what I just did was, here's the lock in the open position. And it looks like I can't lock it until this is attached to the sensor. So what I did is I stuck my screwdriver right in here and I just wiggled it back and forth until I was able to lift up 
on this because this is flush. So that whole gap was not visible. Hope you guys can see what I'm trying to describe here. Okay. Now I can just come in, grab the sensor, wiggle it. And I suggest that you put your hand on the bottom so it doesn't fall. And then just pull it away from the engine, just like that. And there you have it. That's your camshaft position sensor. And so let's go ahead and do a quick inspection. There are the electrical connections right there. I don't see any cracks along the top. There's the O-ring. You want to check the O-ring, make sure it's pliable. It's in good shape. This is typical here. You're seeing a very light coat of oil. And I just want to say that if this was dirty or a lot of sludge, reddish, you could barely make out the color of the plastic, then before replacing this sensor, I would absolutely replace my engine oil and filter, okay? Because it could be that the sludge and dirt that's built up on the sensor is coming from the oil and that could be interfering with the signal going back and forth to the engine. And really that's all I want to cover today is kind of show you where the sensors are located, kind of the pro tips for getting it out of that tight location and give you some tips for replacing when you should and should not replace the sensor. Okay, and so with that, let's just go ahead and reinstall the sensor. And I just want to say, looking at the sensor location here, there's no oil dripping from that area along the engine block, so that tells me that this O-ring is working. If you had a failed O-ring, but the sensor was not throwing a code, I would look into just simply replacing the O-ring rather than replacing the entire sensor, okay? You wanna buy O-rings that are both heat and oil resistant, okay? Let's go ahead and slide this in place. Now that I have it in place, but it's not all the way seated, so it's sitting, there's a gap about like that, okay? I'm gonna take my thumb and just work it around and drop it in, okay? There you go. Now that makes sure that that O-ring is seated like it's supposed to. I manipulated the little arm for the bolt location. It's in good location. Now here's the hard part, getting this bolt back in. And I'm gonna do the same thing. The same way I took it out, it's the same way I'm gonna put it in. You see that? I'm gonna go, and go in, just like that, and just stab it in there. I have to rotate the sensor a little bit, but I'm maintaining constant pressure on this bolt until I get it started. There we go. Wiggle the sensor. Okay, now you can attach the extension to the ratchet and tighten down the sensor and it just needs to be snug. Okay, now we have our electrical connector. I'm gonna take a look at that gasket. The gasket is not deformed. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it on. Okay, now it's locked in place, but now I have to lock that gray tab down. And there you go. Well folks, that wraps up the removal and replacement of the camshaft position sensors on this 2024 Kia Sorento with a 2.5 liter non-turbo engine. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.